Hey, good morning everyone. Brian Rhodes here. Well, I want to speak to you today about the uh, meeting I had with our casting director uh, yesterday. Um, very interesting to say the least. A little scary in some degree. Uh, I'll explain why in a few minutes. Uh, but uh, Jonathan Olivieri and I sat down and talked at length about the demands of the film and where we have to be on certain dates and so on. So let me share all of that with you, if I may. And uh, then as we move forward, we'll uh, keep referring back to these dates to see if we are in fact on schedule anyway. Um, the first thing we talked about were the windows of opportunity in terms of uh, those available to us for shooting. You know, we have to be very careful. We have to try to find uh, windows where, in fact, talent is available, where crew is available, and so on, because we're not going to be, a, you know, a 10, 20, 30 million dollar shoot. And it's amazing how in any community, be it Los Angeles or Toronto, shooting community, uh, how quickly the cast and crew can be eaten up. So we want to have the widest possible or best best the best available actors uh, to look at as well as the best available crew to look at at a time where they may be a little less active okay so we've identified two of those areas uh, the first area being November 15th to December 15th of this year and uh, next year April uh, April not January February because February and March is what we call pilot month uh, and a lot of actors are all tied up in uh, in uh, in the uh, pilot season and whatnot, and sometimes we don't have the availability that we we would maybe like to have for shooting. So we want to get a little past that and then pick up those people that maybe weren't uh, winners in the pilot uh, in the pilot um, uh, pool, and uh, so consequently uh, we can move forward with some good actors regardless. Anyway, um, well. We found out that we wanted to have, or we really had to have, 12 weeks in advance to, um, to uh, cast this film. By in advance, I mean in advance of the uh, principal shooting dates. So, do the math. If we are looking at mid-November to mid-December, 12 weeks prior to that is, April, is August 21st, I think which means that we would be expected to uh, start casting this film August 21st. I hate to say it, but that is almost impossible. Now, it wouldn't be impossible if we had the money available right now to shoot the film, but we don't. Uh, and we're not going to cast the film before we uh, have the funding in place. Uh, let me tell you why. Well, there'll be one person cast, myself. Other than that, we are going to wait until after funding. Again, as I just mentioned, let me tell you why. You know, if, we're, if we end up getting $275,000 to shoot this film, then we are certainly not going to be able to spend money on recognizable actors. We're going to have, the, uh, have to look at the best available actors uh, that are maybe hopefully up and coming, but somebody you've never heard of at this point, more than likely. Uh, that is hopefully not the course of action that we will take, but uh, it may be and it, it could be one of the possibilities available to us. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to tap into the talent pool at the top of, uh, at, at the high end. Um, and um, to do that, what we would want to do is to know exactly what the financial arrangements could be for these people. Now, they have a pay and play policy. It's as simple as that. What I mean by that is, you know, you pay them, uh, they're, willing to, they're willing to play. Uh, if you can't fund the film or whatnot, you're paying them anyways. So from that point of view, when we're dealing with larger actors, when I say larger actors, I mean more prominent actors, you know, we have to be very careful that we have the funds available to shoot the film uh, before we offer them a contract. Uh, some people say you can offer a contract subject to funding. Yeah, but you know something in this day and age, that just isn't uh, a, a sound, uh, <clears throat> shall we say, a sound practice. Um, in our opinion, you know, we want specific people for this, so we want to be able to lock them down based on their schedule, their availability, and so on. That's going to be very important for this film. Keep in mind, this film is a little bit different than most because it's going to be requiring an intimacy, an intimacy on the part of all the actors uh, that is not 
often prominent in, in most films. Uh, and uh, so from, from that perspective, we're going to have to probably search uh, long and, 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 and hard for uh, the characters that we want. So we want to have the biggest talent pool available to us, okay? So that means then that since we have to have funding in position before we actually offer the actors contracts, uh, it means that the November 13th to December 15th shooting date is out of the question. So it looks like we now have to move and look f uh, forward to move ahead and look forward to shooting this film in April 20th. And therefore we would start our casting in um, uh, roughly January 13th. Uh, then working back from that, we would need our funding in position uh, probably by December 15th, so that we can uh, figure out our complete budget and know exactly what we can offer various uh, uh, actors uh, uh, that uh, we would like to have in specific roles. Um, we, of course, the only person that will be pre-cast uh, will be myself in the, uh, in the support role of Charlie, okay? Um, <clears throat> but the key is to find uh, three good, strong, major actors, if we can, for the three roles of Ali, uh, Curtis, and Boston. Now, we did a little talk, or we did a little, we had a discussion on the types of person, maybe the look, and or the abilities of the people that uh, we might like to see fitting into this roles. And we came up with a couple of names. Uh, we were looking at, uh, for Ali, uh, a Nina Dubrov, let me get this right. Debrev, Debrev, Nina Debrev, uh, as uh, as an alley type. Um, nice young actors, uh, very impressive. Um, not saying that we can get her, but uh, we believe that she would make a very good uh, alley. Um, as for Curtis, you've heard this name before. I've always thought it would be a great role for Robert Sheen. He might be a little big for us now. But certainly we would be looking for Robert Sheen or Robert Sheen types, types in the role of, of Curtis. As far as Boston, there were a couple of things that opened up. Um, right now, we'd be looking at prospects of somebody like Harry Styles in the Boston role. He's not a, um, he's known, not necessarily for his acting. Um, he's now in Dunkirk, where I, I, I believe he's done a very good job. Uh, and he might be looking for a very challenging role, uh, which would be Boston, in this case, an emotional role. Uh, with, uh, now, it might be a stretch for him, but again, he would be the type because he also sings and plays guitar, etc., right? So, or he, he sings anyways, and that's what we're looking for, okay? So those would be the three types of people that we agreed that we would be looking for, okay? We also then now have the deadline to have our producer on board and our director on board. We've got to have them both on board before casting. So we're looking at end of November to bring the producer on board uh, and uh, obviously end of December to bring the director on board. Um, the script lockdown we agreed would be on August 25th. That's not very far away, so I'm going to have a lot of work to do in that regard. Uh, then having said all of that, of course, the funding completion is, um, is um, now a year-ending project, which is coming on us very quickly. So we've got a lot to work on right now after this meeting. Uh, I'm assuming that things are going to have to move pretty quickly, so I'm going to have to put my cap on. And, uh, and motor with this. Um, I'll keep you posted as I go on with subsequent meetings and so on. We have a producer's meeting coming up, etc. Uh, a producer's interview, I should say, etc. And I'll keep you posted on that. So I think it's safe to say, just in conclusion, we're looking at Better Left Unsaid, principal shooting April, which would be great timing for the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, and uh, we'd be looking for a funding event of some sort uh, before the end of this year. So away we go. Uh, moving forward, look forward to keeping you updated in the uh, weeks to come. You take care. Bye-bye now.